Daily in the body snatcher right here. It's a champ. Big up the sports and icon. Subscribe. Otherwise, I might pay you guys a visit. Right, first of all, thank you very much to Sunny for letting me know about this. For you guys, I shall put the article in the description box so you guys can go see for yourself. Now, I'm quite surprised that this hasn't been broadcast to the masses. It seems that, again, it's fallen under the radar. And the announcement is that on Monday, Tyson Fury and Deontay Wilder will actually have a press conference. Yep, and this will be on Monday in Los Angeles. Now, logistically for Los Angeles, sure, that's not too far away from Las Vegas, where the fight is going to be held on February the 22nd. So that's not too bad. But where Tyson Fury is training at Cronk Gym, that's talking north, maybe northeast of the United States of America in Detroit. And to my knowledge, I think Deontay Wilder, doesn't he train out of Alabama? Of course, that's going to be like virtually the deep south of America. So both these guys are going to have to get on an airplane to go to Los Angeles to do a press conference. So I'm quite surprised they didn't have it a little bit closer, maybe meet in the middle somewhere. Just so these guys didn't have to go too far. So why Los Angeles? No idea. I mean, if you're going to go to Los Angeles, why not just go a little bit across a bit to Las Vegas? Where are you going to have the fight? That would make more sense. If not, these guys meet up in New York. Again, a little bit more sense. Now, this follows on from the video that I did earlier on today where I was saying about the lack of publicity, the lack of promotion for this fight, the fact that there's been no press conferences or anything like that. These guys were relying, according to Bob Arum, on college football. Even though Tyson Fury, he turned up for his, Wilder didn't turn up for his. But when Tyson Fury did it, it was before the college football game even started. Not one person was in the stadium. So how many people actually watched that? I don't know. And in my opinion, ESPN, Bob Arum and that really, really dropped the ball. Really dropped the ball. But now they're actually going to have a press conference. Of course, Tyson Fury, he wasn't happy with the lack of press conference. So now they're going to do it with only 40 odd days until the fight, 42, 43 days until the fight. They're actually going to have a press conference and this will be on Monday and it's been sent out to the media, all that kind of thing. So whoever's going, hey, cool. Now, hopefully it's going to be quite entertaining. Hopefully that uh, Tyson Fury will be his usual showman. Now, there's rumours that Deontay Wilder didn't want a press conference because of what happened last time. So he just wants to concentrate on his, uh, on his training and get to the fight. But because of what happened in the first one, well, Tyson Fury absolutely done him, absolutely annihilated him in all three of the press conferences. Like in the weeks leading up to it, and then of course in the final press conference as well. So again, it's going to be quite interesting to see if Tyson Fury does it again. Maybe he's going to take a whole different approach and just be laid back. Who knows? But either way, with Tyson Fury training in, De um, in Detroit, with Deontay Wilder training in Alabama, if I am correct about Alabama, and the press conference being over there in Los Angeles rather than Las Vegas, even though it's right next door to it, seems pretty bizarre. Is that another ball drop? Potentially. But listen, anyway, no matter what, we're actually going to get a press conference. Press conferences give us something to talk about. It gives us a gauge of how the fighters are mentally. Yes, a lot of it's just bravado, a lot of it's just talk, we get it. But it does actually play a part in the, um, in the fight as well. Press conferences help Tyson Fury. We've seen it. So anyway, that's the news. Wilder vs Fury will have their one and only press conference and that'll be on Monday in Los Angeles. Drop your thoughts below, click thumbs up, subscribe. Catch you all on the next video.